They need to really understand the anatomy. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to Sarah. And today we're gonna talk about filler. It's just us girls, and we're sitting down and talking about filler and Botox, specifically lip filler and lip Botox. I've had both done in the past. I've tweeted about it before, but I wanted to do a video to talk about my experience with it, the differences, the pros and cons, and if you're considering injectables, which one would be right for you. I feel like every YouTuber in the beauty space have had lip filler or filler of some kind whether they talk about it or not. And there's so many videos about lip filler already, but not a lot of people have talked about lip Botox. And I feel like it's like a hidden secret that not a lot of people talk about, but it can really enhance your smile in a lot of ways. I'll also show you guys the before and after of every single one of these procedures that I've done. So you can kind of see what they did. So I'm gonna start off with my personal I guess, journey with filler. When I first got lip fillers, I really just got it because I was curious. Everybody was getting it and I was getting offers to get it for free. Kind of wanted my lips to be a little bit more plump. And I had it done for the first time in New York. That was about four years ago. It was at the Laser Away location. I actually vlogged the whole thing and did a whole video talking about my specific experience the first time I had lip filler done. To those that are new to, I guess, the injectables world, lip filler is basically a hyaluronic acid that is injected underneath your skin. There are a lot of different brands of it. Juvederm is the one that I went with. And its main function is just to increase volume in specific parts of the face. So some people have it done in the chin, some some people have it done in the cheek. Some people have it done in the nose even. When I first got it done, I went for 0.7 milliliters, which is a little bit less than what people usually go for. Typically, it would be around one to two milliliters. And I believe the price, depending on which location you go to and which doctor, is around 300 to $600. But I think the prices might have increased since then because it's gotten so much more popular. But the reason why I went for 0.7 is because I'm not trying to get get like the reality TV show huge lips. I just wanted a little bit of a, of a plump. Like after you eat spicy food and your lips get really big, like that, that was what I was going for. So to that degree, I had a little bit of bruising. It took about two weeks to see the final results. It was very swollen during my healing, but overall I had a really great experience. I really loved how it changed my face, especially on the top lip. I really like a big top lip, which might not be a popular opinion, but like to do the 50-50 by just like a big top lip. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like it balanced my face a lot more and I'm a huge fan of like small little refinements that really pull the face together. But anyway, great experience. And about a year later, most of it dissolved, which is usually what happens, the filler because it's foreign. Even though it's not, it's not toxic to you, it's just hyaluronic acid, but it does get metabolized because it's a foreign substance. So once it gets metabolized, the volume decreases significantly, but you still probably won't end up with the original size because the trauma of injecting something into underneath the skin typically will create a little bit of volume from the collagen because your body is creating collagen to protect that area from the trauma. So by the end of it, I still had a little bit of a volume increase. After it's been mostly dissolved, I went back in for another session. I was ready for a little bit more volume and I feel like if you're trying to especially if you have naturally thin lips, I feel like that's the way to go. Like slowly build up to the volume you want. Don't rush it because if you go too much too fast, chances are there isn't enough space for all that increased volume and it could, and it could actually migrate, spill over, and you end up with like a lip filler stash that you might see sometimes on Instagram. And again, that session also went really well. I put half in the top lip and half in the bottom lip. This is what my lips look like after 0.7 milliliter. And this is what my lips look like after one milliliter. And about like eight months after that, most of it was gone again. But again, this time I was also left with a little bit of extra volume. At this point, this is what my lips look like. And I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I really like the size of my lips and I don't want to increase it. The thing that I noticed from watching my own videos, maybe I'm just, I just look at myself too much. But when I was looking at my videos and watching myself talk, I realized that when I pout and I'm not smiling or talking, I love the size of my lips. But when I start talking, my upper lip kind of flips in like that, like that. I'm sorry, I already have the Botox done. So like, I can't really show you right now. Okay, so to show you guys, I found an old clip of me and my lips are huge in this. This is freshly after filler, but you can still see that when I smile or when I talk, the top lip gets a lot thinner. 
that's actually very common in a lot of people and that is when lip Botox came in and I started researching it it's also called a lip flip for those that are new to Botox Botox it's something that can relax a certain muscles the same concept as why I use my gua sha all the time on my jaw on my forehead it's to relax certain muscles but a gua sha obviously is not precise enough or strong enough to do something like an instant lip flip and that's where Botox comes in so it relaxes certain muscles to prevent dynamic wrinkles but there are also a lot of other uses including the lip flip you can also use Botox to fix gummy smiles and there isn't that much information out there I feel like a lot of Instagram images of before and afters of lip Botox doesn't really give you a good idea of what it actually does because there are usually still images it really doesn't show you how much it improves your lips when you talk or when you smile it only shows you kind of the before and after of like relaxed lips which typically looks the same the before and after isn't very dramatic which I feel like could push a lot of people to opt for filler instead of lip Botox lip Botox relaxes these muscles right here you end up with a little bit of a pout but just on the top lip and after I got it done I was so shocked there are a lot of risks that are associated with Botox one is you need to go to a very good injector because they need to really understand the anab anatomy blah, anatomy of your face and when injected here to do a lip flip what it can actually do is literally flip your lips out a little bit so it relaxes your top lip so that your top lip still has a little bit of a pout even if you're talking or smiling and to demonstrate this to you here are some examples of a couple celebrities that i suspect has had the lip botox this is just my opinion don't sue me but bella hadid when she was younger when she smiles you can see that her top lip is very very thin whereas now even when she smiles her top lip is still flipped out and that's not something that you can achieve typically just with filler so i really Really think that she had Botox she probably had Botox in other areas of her face as well but that is something that stood out to me another celebrity who might have had it done is Madeline Klein maybe this is just how her lips naturally are but that is the effect that you would be able to get her top lip is very flipped out and pouted out and that's something that people on TikTok like to mimic by putting lash glue on their top lip and like flipping it up if you want to see what your lips will look like if you had lip Botox that's a great way of testing it out just put that lash glue on and do a little bit of I was so shocked at how it improved my smile and and it made so much more sense for me to do that instead of getting filler because filler just increases the volume which isn't necessarily what I wanted anymore I just wanted my top lip to be relaxed so that is the reason why I will probably not go back to lip filler that's not to say that if you do want lip filler that you shouldn't get lip filler but I think the lip flip is a very good option for people like me and Bella Hadid who might have that curved in lip when they smile or talk so to some Summarize, little old Sarah Chung's opinion lip filler pros filler typically lasts a little bit longer at around six to eight months if you don't like it you can dissolve it right away you can go back to the clinic and they can inject a solution that can dissolve that filler right away it gives a very dramatic effect and you're basically guaranteed a volume increase cons it might migrate and when it does it might look very botched it's a lot more noticeable so i feel like people can get away with botox get it done and not tell anyone whereas filler you're swollen and bruised for a while it's really hard to hide it's also the more expensive option Botox typically a little bit cheaper it gives you a much more natural look cons doesn't last as long it usually lasts about three months it cannot be dissolved if you don't like it you just have to wait that three months for it to go away I mean this is true no matter what kind of injectables you're getting but you need to make sure your doctor is very skilled and understands your facial anatomy because if Botox migrates to a different area it could really fuck up your smile and lastly Botox is not a solution for everybody you might naturally have a smile that just doesn't curve in so if you use lip Botox it probably won't do much and I just want to share this with y'all because that's one of the cosmetic treatments that I've had that felt the most worth it and I really love my smile now I'm really exposing all my business so I hope you guys found this informative if you've had this done let me know what your experiences are or which one you prefer you can watch more of my videos over here or over here I have a bad sense of direction so I don't know where the videos are gonna be and I'll talk to y'all later oh girl chat questions girl chat questions because the girl chat is coming up very soon and I'll see y'all next week bye